Hi guys, I am here to bring you guys a quick update on Lenny. So in one of my previous videos, I did leave in a little pinned comment, a little update on him because I did notice something and I was taking him to the vet. So the night that I noticed, I took Lenny out and I was just holding him and I kind of was giving him a little health check, looking at his bits and everything and I noticed his <laughs> his man bit, his wiener, his wee wee, his pee pee, <laughs> whatever his hot dog, whatever you want to call it, was slightly sticking out and this is something I had noticed previously before and as you may know a lot of male animals will sometimes have their wieners out <laughs> just for fun <laughs> and they'll put it back in later like it's not a big deal but because I had seen it previously and I saw it again I was a little interested intrigued when like why is it out again still so I kind of held him and looked a little closer and around it did look quite swollen or maybe a little bit bloated so I also did try to maybe it was stuck out sometimes they just maybe can't retract it back in. So I got a little Q-tip with some coconut oil and I kind of just rubbed it on there. Uh, it didn't go back in. So I was like, let's email the vet and ask about it. So they said that they could fit me in the next day between the vet's surgeries. And I really like this vet. She's a really great uh, exotic vet, especially with hamsters. She seems to be really educated with them. So I felt really comfortable bringing him to them. So I dropped him off and I wasn't sure what was going to happen, whether or not we're going to do x-rays or urine sample or anything like that. She did take a look at Lenny and uh, she called me back and she did say she noticed that his reproductive system looks underdeveloped. She said like she popped out one of his testicles which if you didn't know hamsters can tuck their testicles and then you can manually like pop them out to see them and she did she looked at one and she thought that it actually didn't look it looked quite small if you know male Syrians have quite large testicles so she thought his was just on the smaller side she tried to look for the other one and couldn't like it was just either really small or couldn't find it or something like that so she did say she felt that he was underdeveloped that way um so that could possibly be the issue she felt around she didn't feel anything like kidney stones or like any lumps or anything like a tumor so that's obviously good she wasn't exactly sure what it could be like why it's like that so she did prescribe us some antibiotics we are going to do that for a week um i also got some ben back probiotics for Lenny as well. Um, she said maybe it's just like that and as long as it's not causing him any discomfort um, he might just live like that and live perfectly fine. I also don't know if he's always been like that. So it's a very interesting situation. One thing she did mention is um, try to remove anything abrasive in the cage that you don't want his wiener moving <laughs> on. So I did have to remove his sand bath. I'm very disappointed because he loves his sand bath. And uh, I did take it out because hamsters are so close to the ground. Imagine rubbing your wee wee <laughs> on sand all the time. It would probably not be very comfortable. She also said maybe get some water based lubricant to apply to it so it doesn't dry out. This feels like such a weird video. I'm literally talking about a hamster's wiener. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah. Other than that, Lenny is doing good. He uh, takes his medicine like a pro. He does get it twice a day. Once at 9 in the morning and then once at 9 p.m. And then he gets the probiotic once a day. And he is eating. He is drinking. He runs on his wheel. He does pee still. Uh, he goes poop all that jazz so she did say if it doesn't look any better within 
the antibiotic treatment after that um, maybe to bring him back in and we'll assess it more and see what else we could maybe figure out with that. So I kind of just wanted to give you guys that update because I think a lot of people uh, didn't know about it but that's what's going on with little Lenny and his wiener and I just had to talk about that and let you guys know that he's not dying. <laughs> he's fine. Uh, he's just got a little Audi. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next one um, and hopefully Lenny feels better. <laughs> see ya guys. Thank you for watching. Bye!